everyone. My name is Miss Sarah and welcome to October Snack Attack. This month I'm going to be showing you how to make some Halloween treats with ingredients that you might already have at home. There are a lot of substitutions you can use too, so I'm going to go over those as well. The first treat that we will be making are Monster Mounds. For this snack, you'll need peanut butter or any kind of nut butter or spread. You could use Nutella or something like that as well. You'll also need an apple and mini marshmallows. The marshmallows are going to be the teeth. You can also use parts of the apple. You could use crackers. Basically any food that looks like teeth you can use. Before you get started, wash your hands, of course, and then you'll also want to wash your apple off as well. You'll also need an adult to help you cut the apple and also probably to help spread. The first thing you do is have your adult help you cut the apple. I'm going to cut the apple into four pieces and then I'm going to cut each piece in half. So overall, I'll have eight pieces total. I put four pieces aside to start out with so I could focus on making two monster mouths to show you. After you have all your pieces of your apple, you're going to take your knife and spread peanut butter on each side of the apple slice. Two slices of the apple equal one mouth. After you finish spreading the peanut butter on each side, you're going to take your marshmallow or other ingredient to make the teeth. I put about four on one side of the apple. You can do as many as you'd like as long as they fit. And then once you're done with that part, you're going to put the other half of the apple on top and it's going to form a mouth. You'll repeat all the steps to make your other mouths. I made two to show you, but you should be able to get about four mouths out of one apple. The next treat we will be making are broomsticks. So this you need just two ingredients. You'll need string cheese and pretzel sticks. At first, you'll need your adult to help you cut the string cheese into about three pieces per stick. I used two sticks to make six pieces, and that'll be six broomsticks. You can make more or less than I did, depending on the ingredients you have. You'll then take each piece and using your hands, kind of gently tear the cheese to make the end of the broom. Once you're done with that, you're just gonna take one of your sticks and poke it through. And that is all you need to do to make the broomsticks. These are my six broomsticks when they were all done. Thank you everyone so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make these Halloween snacks. I hope everyone has a safe and fun Halloween and I will see you soon. Bye!